This is Betsy Bates for Global Medical News Network, reporting from the World Conference on Lung Cancer in San Francisco. I was able to sit down with Dr. Peter Goldstraw, the chairman of a group that has produced a new staging system for lung cancer, the first revision in many years, and one based on more than 100,000 lung cancer cases from around the world. I've uh, been involved in the ISLC staging project from its inception in 1998 and I've had the great privilege of chairing that committee since that time. And tell me, there's exciting news to report at this conference about a new method of staging lung cancer. We at the um, ISLC World Conference here have the privilege to um, to launch the seventh edition of TNM in lung and pleural tumors and because the previous classification was not changed with the sixth edition this is the first time it's changed since 1997 when the fifth edition came out and really the first major revision for the last 20 years so it's a very exciting moment how radical are the changes? Well, w whenever I get asked about this, people focus on what have you changed with the descriptors, the T, the T categories, the N, the M categories. What have you changed in terms of the stage groupings, the stage one, stage two, and so on. But I think the most important change that we feel is the the change to the process of change itself. Previous changes were based on uh, a relatively small database here in the US. Uh, they were based predominantly on surgical cases. And uh, at the last revision in the fifth edition in 1997, that database was only just over 5,000 cases. Now the IASLC felt as the only global organization representing all specialties involved in the research and treatment of lung cancer, we had a responsibility to try and do better. So we developed the International Staging Project. We've had enormous support from colleagues around the globe and we've collected over 100,000 cases treated by all modalities of care data that's been collected by 46 different databases in over 20 countries around the globe. So it's been a massive, massive improvement on the previous database. Because we had such large numbers, we've also been able to validate the changes in a way which was never possible before. We validated them internally so that every change we propose has to be shown to be relevant to all patients around the globe being treated by different modalities of care. And we've also validated it externally by using our proposals and testing them against the SEER database here in the US. So the changes are fully validated and relevant around the world. The uh, Im other important change has been the way in which we have kept the lung cancer community fully informed of these proposals well ahead of their release at the 13th World Conference here. Normally uh, the review process would, would happen within the committees of the UICC and the AJCC and only when they were finalized would they be released to the lung cancer community. Mm -hmm. Because we in the ISLC represent the lung cancer community and have had all these specialties on, on our committee, we've kept them informed with regular proposals in the Journal of Thoracic Oncology. And so for two years we have been releasing the proposals uh, for discussion and debate. And indeed, we've already at this conference had several papers where people have analyzed their data with our new classification. And surprise, surprise, it works. It's better for patients, it's better for the accuracy of the prognosis. This is Betsy Bates from Global Medical News Network reporting from the World Conference on Lung Cancer in San Francisco.